Hello everyone, welcome to the first part of the first chapter Fundamentals of Information Systems. In this first video, we will briefly describe system and information system and talk about classification of information systems. In order to define what information system is and what business information system is, we must first define what a system is. System is a collection of at least two interactive conceptual or physical components that are brought together to reach at least one goal. Each system must have at least two components, they could be conceptual or physical, and they must be interactive each other, and there must be at least one goal. Apart from these uh, components, there are some other concepts to be uh, investigated in, um, regarding to system concept. These are environment, boundary, and interface. Everything stays out of a system is called environment. Boundary is the area that separates system from its environment. And interface is the area that uh, provides communication of system components with the environment. Information system is, on the other hand, is a system that accepts the data as input and processes the data and produces meaningful information as output. It stores the data and information to be accessed again when it is necessary. But the fundamental goal of the information system is transforming data into information or transforming information into knowledge. This is uh, the transformation of data into information is called data processing. On the other hand, transformation of information uh, to the knowledge form is called information processing. Information system has five fundamental components which are human hardware software network and data hardware software network and data are general termed as information technologies which uh, will be described in the information technologies chapter which is second chapter of this uh, course let's also uh, describe data information knowledge and wisdom concepts which are generally confused in each other Data are raw, unprocessed, uninterpretable objective facts or impressions. Data by themselves have no meaning. On the other hand, information has. Uh, it is the organized and meaningful form of data. Information by itself has a meaning and this meaning is objective. On the other hand, knowledge is quite subjective. It is the meaningful also and valued form of data and information, but knowledge is generally produced by the combination of data and information with human experience and analytical skills. On the other hand, wisdom is a very hard uh, concept to describe, but generally it deals with values, judgments, understanding and intuitions of humans. The uh, relationships uh, between these four concepts are generally described with a pyramid, as you can see on the right side of the screen where data is at the bottom and information is on the second level uh, and as you can see on the screen information answers the questions of what, who, when and where. On the other hand knowledge answers the question of how and as the uh, pinnacle of the hierarchy wisdom answers more philosophical question which is why. After we briefly described system and information system, we can now classify information systems. Information systems in this course uh, are categorized into two classes, which are operation support systems and management support systems, each of which will be described in the following slides of this video. Operation support systems provide uh, support to the operation manage, um, op uh, to the decision processes of the operational managers. They record the operations, uh, update the databases regularly and provide and support communication and collaboration of the employees and managers. The first and the most fundamental type of operational support system is transaction processing system. Transaction processing system fundamentally process, records, and stores data. It is the uh, basic uh, information generator for the businesses. They follow the routines, operations of the businesses, and records their actions and stores them to the databases. 
Transaction processing systems process the data in two different ways. Real-time processing is processing data whenever they, uh, they are generated or they are occurred. Batch processing, on the other hand, is processing data in a specific time period, so let's say daily, weekly, monthly, or annually, or other time periods. Process control systems provide support in managing physical production processes. They fundamentally support the operations uh, of the employees and businesses in the production phase. Enterprise collaboration system is another type of operation support system. Uh, they enable individuals to communicate with each other and uh, enable the co communication of the employees, managers and other stakeholders within the business or out of the business. The a special type of enterprise collaboration system is office automation systems, emails, fax machines, video conferencing, audio conferencing, electronic calendars are examples to the office automation systems. Management support systems is the second uh, class of information system. Uh, they generally provide support to the managerial decisions of the uh, managers. The first uh, type of management support system is maybe the most famous one, management information systems. Management information systems produce summarized information for the managers. They uh, provide uh, answers to the inquiries and determine specific situations which are asked by the managers. And they answer the question of what is. Management information systems produce three types of uh, reports. Periodic reports are produced in, in specific time periods uh, without, without asked. Uh, reports based on special requests are produced by a special request, as you can understand from its name. And exceptional reports are produced in uh, extraordinary time, in times of crisis, bankruptcy, or uh, some disaster times. The second type of management support system is decision support systems. Decision support systems help the decision makers for complex decision processes. They generally uh, help the decision makers wherever management support systems are inadequate to support their decision processes. Decision support systems produce alternative scenarios for the different cases and they try to answer the question of what if, thanks to the scenarios they produced for the decision makers. Decision support systems have five uh, fundamental components. Data management subsystem uh, provide data and transform data to the information for the decision makers. Model management subsystem, <coughs> uh, on the other hand, provides statistical uh, and uh, analytical models for the managers. Dialogue management subsystem provides communication and collaboration of the decision maker with the decision support system. Knowledge management subsystem uh, it, it tries to in, enhance the knowledge level of the decision makers and decision maker is a key role uh, on the decision support systems. The third type of management support system is executive information systems. Executive information systems provide support to decision makers from strategic, level, strategic management level. They are designed for uh, users who have limited contact with computer systems. Of course, executive managers uh, are able to use uh, computers and they have some basic computer skills, but they are generally, uh, they are not generally uh, expected to have knowledge on uh, programming and coding. Therefore, executive information systems are, uh, have generally uh, friendly graphical usage and they, they are easy to use. Special processing systems are classified under both operation support systems and management support systems. Uh, there are four uh, types of uh, special processing systems, which are expert systems, knowledge management systems, function information systems, and surgical information systems. These uh, information systems are uh, designed and developed for special um, special purposes for the business operations. 
And uh, by this way, we can we come to the end of the first part of the first chapter. In the next part, we will discuss decision making, knowledge management and business information systems. Until next time, stay well.